Welcome to the strategic plan for the Morgan Library and Museum, located in New York City, presented by the Royal Cat Ladies. In this presentation, we will discuss executive summary and organizational profile, preparation and planning, current reality and new priorities, and finally, performance management and contingencies. Strategic planning is needed for this institution because it is important to have a mind frame set towards the future and the good of the institution. Morgan Library has been open since 1924, and because of its eclectic collection and longevity of this institution, it is important to ensure that we are implementing goals that align with the needs of our patrons. For this reason, we semi-annually go over a strategic plan. We have three main strategic initiatives to implement for the Morgan Library and Museum. One is to increase the attendance by changing our marketing campaign to target millennials, to institute free Fridays every Friday as opposed to one Friday per month, and digitizing the Morgan's collections and exhibits. The Morgan's unique collection constitutes an incomparable resource to the public, while its staff makes new ideas that are relevant and exciting to a broad audience. The Morgan serves access to a diverse audience of all ages, students, scholars, and the general public. The Morgan is committed to responsible management of its human and financial resources and actively engages with its supporters and the public. Finally, the Morgan seeks to establish the highest standards with respect to the management of its collections and resources, as well as the level of service it provides to scholars and the general public. The mission of the Morgan Library and Museum is to preserve, build, study, present, and interpret a collection of extraordinary quality in order to stimulate enjoyment, excite the imagination, advance learning, and nurture creativity. A global institution focused on the European and American traditions, the Morgan House is one of the world's foremost collections of manuscripts, rare books, music, drawings, and ancient and other works of art. These holdings, which represent the legacy of Pierpont Morgan and numerous later benefactors, comprise a unique and dynamic record of civilization, as well as an incomparable repository of ideas and the creative process. The Library Management Team The Library Management Team is headed by Director Colin B. Bailey, Deputy Director Jessica Ludwig, and Director of Finance and Administration Christina W. Stillman. The Morgan Library and Museum's Board of Trustees is headed by President Lawrence R. Riccardi and Vice Presidents Richard L. Minchell and Clement C. Moore II. Each of the individuals in this organizational chart will be involved in the strategic planning process. The director, Colin B. Bailey, will oversee the project along with Christina W. Stillman, who is the director of finance and administration. The heads of each creation department will work together as a team. Each department head and manager will speak on their own behalf as to how their department will be affected by the strategic plan and what their needs are. Most departments will answer directly to the deputy director, Jessica Ludwig. Everyone in development and membership will report to the Director of Finance and Administration, Christina W. Stillman. Jessica Ludwig, Deputy Director, will answer to the Director, Colin B. Bailey. Overall, there will be 11 individuals and one team working on the strategic plan. The Morgan Library and Museum, with help from the Board of Trustees, formed a strategic plan committee. The committee recognizes that there are factors that may inhibit the and place limitations on the success of the strategic plan. These factors are the building, patronage, and major gifts. As the Morgan Library was built in 1902, an exorbitant amount of money is spent each year preserving the library and museum's frescoes and ornate architectural details. 
Preserving the historical architectural integrity of the building while trying to expand the library may prove challenging. Patronage. The functionality of the Morgan Library and Museum relies heavily on the admission fees of patrons. The past two years have shown a downward trend in patronage despite marketing campaigns and popular exhibits. Patronage will need to increase in the next years for the Morgan Library and Museum's strategic plan to be realized. Major Gifts. A major gift campaign with a goal of $25 million will begin next fiscal year. In order to reach this goal, several major gift officers will need to be hired. The Strategic Plan Committee will need to identify and create a new budget line dedicated to the major gift officer salaries. Current Reality. Environmental Scan, SWOT Analysis, Organizational Performance, and Gap Analysis. Morgan is located in a neighborhood known as Murray Hill within the larger neighborhood of Midtown East. The demographics of this neighborhood have not changed over the course of this and the past century. It has been filled with predominantly wealthy and young inhabitants. The community has not changed much, but there are many who find themselves in Murray Hill via tourism. The Morgan is located near three major transportation hubs, Penn Station, Grand Central, and Port Authority. With nearly 60 million tourists coming to the city each year, many are bound to stop at the Morgan. Last year, they hosted nearly 300,000 visitors. With the ever-increasing costs associated with living and visiting Manhattan, most museums have free days where the museum is hoping that visitors will spend their money elsewhere, such as in donations and at the gift shop. The Morgan currently has free access on late Friday nights. Millennials are a huge population in New York City. Many museums are trying new and innovative approaches to bringing these audiences in such as using social media and having young professionals help plan exhibits. Is the Morgan doing enough to attract these millennials? The internal strengths of our institution involve our highly trained staff who are task-oriented and driven, who work together efficiently and make this institution function. Our only current internal weakness is not having a head of department for our library's literary and historical manuscripts department. Our external strengths involve outreach in our community and standing out amongst other museums with our unique collection. External weaknesses involve admission fees to our institution and currently not having a more diverse group of patrons. Organizational Performance, Patronage and Programs Cash and cash equivalents decreased by 4.7%. This might be because of free Fridays and also because of an increase of patrons that take advantage of our free programs. Tours The Morgan saw an increase in dose and tours last year. This indicates that patrons want to learn more about the history of the Morgan Library and Museum. The Morgan may consider charging a small fee for guided tours. Marketing To bring in more paying patrons to the Morgan Library and Museum, the committee suggests kicking off a new marketing campaign. This campaign would increase our social media presence and market to a new demographic group particularly Millennials. Gap Analysis. The positives are that patron attendance increased, acquisitions and exhibits have increased, and docent tour attendance have increased. Deficiencies are that grants and major gifts are down, technology needs to be updated, and there were non-repeat visitors to programs and events. To meet the needs of the diverse community, exhibitions will be added that represent the life and history of people across the five boroughs. Cultural programming will also be added. Many of these will include historical lectures and film showings that explore cultures, languages, and ethnicities. Tours will also be held in multiple languages. Other new priorities are to digitize our collections and exhibits and to increase our online and social media presence. By doing this, we hope to reach a new generation of Morgan Library and Museum patrons. The major change made to the updated mission 
was to include the addition of the idea of meeting the needs of the community. We intentionally chose to keep the term community loose so it can refer to many different locations the community can represent. The new mission will be reflected on the slide. In order to obtain the Morgan's goals of increasing attendance, we are going to focus on marketing and obtaining sponsorship. In order to expand accessibility, we will establish the weekly programs of Free Fridays. And finally, in order to update our technology, we will begin to digitize our permanent collection and exhibits. We hope to increase attendance in person as well as increasing virtual foot traffic on our website. Though these goals are different, they work in tandem as we hope to increase users both in the museum and on the web. We hope to avoid conflict by creating a strict and detailed budget on the money that is to be spent on each goal and its subparts. We also hope that meeting our needs on a priority basis will alleviate some tension if a budget for a certain area exceeds expectations. Every four months, the committee will spend one meeting evaluating the budget and the tasks that have been completed and one that have yet been completed. If by the end of the first year of implementation, the budget has been exceeded by 10%, an outside consulting firm will be brought in to assess what the problem is and to help create a stable and lasting budget. The success of the Morgan Library Museum strategic initiatives are profoundly contingent upon funding. If funding is not secured for Free Fridays, the marketing campaign to increase attendance, or the digitization of the Morgan's collection and exhibits, certain contingencies have been put into place to rectify this. Free Fridays, for instance, would have to be reevaluated and perhaps then once a month instead of every Friday. The marketing campaign to increase attendance would have to be done on a much smaller scale, and the digitization of the Morgan's collection would have to be done by an unpaid intern, perhaps. The Morgan Library and Museum's vision has been to celebrate creativity and the imagination with the conviction that meaningful engagement with literature, music, history, and art enriches lives, opens minds, and deepens understanding for over 90 years now. This strategic plan aims to outline and put into motion how the Morgan can do this just by increasing attendance. We cannot secure the future of the Morgan without patrons. The Morgan was first given to the public for their enrichment, and as such, the Morgan needs its patrons to continue to thrive and grow. As J.P. Morgan first gave this institution to the public, we seek to continue his generosity by securing that Free Fridays remains a permanent occurrence at the Morgan. The Morgan aspires to have all people, regardless of social or economic background, to enjoy and be enriched by its treasures. Digitizing our collection. The Morgan is a lasting historical institution in a city that is continuously changing with the times. Digitizing our collections and exhibits will not only make them accessible to anyone, anywhere, but it will digitally document our vast and rare collection of books, manuscripts, and artwork. Keeping our mission, vision, and values in mind, this strategic plan provides a blueprint on what we must do in the next years to nurture and develop the Morgan. The Morgan strives to not only preserve this historical institution, but to facilitate its growth so that just as past generations have enjoyed it, future generations may also enjoy it. Team Narrative As the Worldcat ladies worked on our strategic plan project, we went through the five stages. Forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning. For more information of our team narrative, please refer to our strategic plan documents appendix. Well, we've come to the end of our presentation on the strategic plan for the Morgan Library and Museum located in New York City. We want to thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. We are the World Cat Ladies, Andrea Bauman, Sarah West, and Laura Andrews.